Well, what have I gotten myself into here? Well, to start, we're in a street stock. <laughs> and we're at Martinsville. And, uh, well, the street stock is known for being probably the most uh, contact sport green, green, green. of the, okay, the vehicles on iRacing. And Martinsville has a reputation of being one of the most contact sport of the tracks on iRacing. So what does that mean? That means we're going to have ourselves a real clean race, I bet. <laughs> One more lap. Why would I do this to myself? Well, B2. I've had too good for too long. I've been at Class A 499 for a couple months now. And, you know, maybe it's because I'm not challenging myself. Maybe I'm just not putting myself Deleted into challenging enough situations. Maybe I'm not uncomfortable enough. All right, there's the ticket flag. Maybe I've lost my mind. Who knows? But we've actually got pretty good strength of field here, I think. I'm the five car as a 4500 I rating dude. And uh, we got this Bradley guy coming out here running <laughs> bonkers laps. He was in the open practice as well, seven times. That was easily the best lap I've ever done. I don't know how I did that. I'm not good <laughs> at this track, or really all that well, or that good with this car either, and I don't really run it very often anymore. So, you know, even with that being my best lap ever at this combo, it's like I've fallen down to fifth. Probably will drop down a little bit more if I had to guess. Put my in-car, uh, or my brake bias rather, at 49.4. Getting some more rotation. This thing, the brakes are so weak on this thing. Like I flat foot it, and it's not turning me, as you can see. So I could probably even put it down more, but I don't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, I don't even know if I want to race for a while. I don't know. I mean, I have an idea of what this is going to look like. But Week 13 Southern National in the Street Stock surprised me. Maybe this will as well. I don't know. I really don't. But the uh, thing is, I'm not going to come in here and complain if I start getting run into. I know what this series is. I know what this track is. I'm just going to try to have some fun with it. Something different. Something I don't normally do. We'll see how it turns out. Kind of just checking the tires there. I don't know if that's going to be much of a thing or not. But we're just waiting on this 18, who I assume just started doing laps because it canceled uh, the shortening of the uh, countdown. I'm just waiting on the one, the one guy here. The 18 of the 18 cars in here. We are the number five. I think I mentioned that already. It's, uh, at least we're not the slowest of those who qualified. That easily could have happened. I thought about just starting the back, but there's plenty of people that are going to stay in the back. And so, as the number five, I would have been still in the middle anyway. So, we're just going to race. I'm going to try to pull away from the guys behind us, see if we can. Get some space. I don't know if we're even going to do very many green laps. Probably not. But we'll see. 18 doesn't want to qualify and doesn't want to hit the button, so we're just going to wait, I guess, the whole time. That's all right. Just 10 more seconds. Not very talkative. Usually these races are quite talkative. I'm sure they'll start yapping at each other when the bumpers start hitting bumpers. I'm gonna do my That's best to stay away from it because, like I said, I gotta know. I gotta know what this is. I gotta know what to expect coming in here. And like I said, I've had it too good. Line up on the inside. <laughs> closed. Pit road is closed. So, well, here we go. We'll see how this turns out. 
No fast repair. No pit stops needed. You don't even get tires. So there are cautions in this series. Just need to remind myself, because like I said, I don't do this very often. The uh, C-Class Street Stocks. I wish we'd get uh, like the Formula V or something. C-Class. On the road side of things. Got like the Advanced Legends. I think that's a C-Class. Or is it D-Class? That's. I think it's C-Class. You got that as well. A couple like rookie cars I'd like to have. Oh, excuse me. A couple of rookie cars I'd like to have bigger series for. Arca car is a D-Class series. I'd love to see like an open series for that. Um, you know, keep the no cautions real set, but maybe require a green flag pit stop. I think that would be a really unique way to handle like an open series Arca. That'd be pretty cool. Just some ideas I've had. It would be great to be able to enter a race and know you're guaranteed to get some live, real practice at Green Flag Pit Stops, because there's no real way to guarantee that right now on the service. You can do it in practice, and uh, if you get a caution-free race in an open series, you can you get practice race, so let's be smart you know, there. right in the midst of the fire. Get thrown right in the fire and have to practice your green flag pit stops, but there's no sure fire way to know that when you enter a race you'll have to do green flag pit stop. Alright, right. I think that would be interesting. It's something it's hard to practice. Especially at a place where, you know, you got Eddie number fourteen. You gotta go. Especially at a place like um Daytona or something where you're wanting to pit in packs. It's very hard to practice that. For pit entry. But, uh, that ends that thought. <laughs> I just wanted to finish what I was saying oh, before okay. I started talking. Right. Yeah, nobody gets it right. <laughs> Second gear start, I guess. If things are just absolutely out of control. Maybe I'll pit and go to the back. One left to green. But I think I'll try to I'll try to hang out up here. We're going for uh, entertainment value, just to see what this race looks like. We're just uh, like I said, put myself in a situation I don't normally put myself into. Let's see how it goes. Got my brake bias. Yes. Okay. It's all set up. Get ready. Going green. Okay. Pit nice off. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Mm, third gear would have been the way. Outside. Still there, hold third gear was the way, unfortunately. I hit the limiter Still much there, sooner than I thought line. I would have. Keep low. So hopefully the guy behind me is not too mad for holding him up a little bit. Outside is clear. Car outside. Not very much experience in this car as Stay I mentioned before. There is a car on the high side. Ooh, that clear. guy got loose on the outside. Alright. The leader has just done a 21.3. The car in front has just done a 21.5. P5, that lap was a 21.5. Alright, Ty. Right, so far, so good. Best lap in this session. The car in front has just posted a 21.4. Those guys are getting loose. I'm getting loose. Got a sympathetic loose. Watching them. Fastest lap for Ericsson, 21.3. You've just done a 
Right, side by side there, we got a guy right behind us, making me a little nervous. Try to push the 8 past 10. That lap was a 21.4. Next car is Buckner. The car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Oh. He'll clear me. Time was we'll give him a break. Dangerous maneuver to pull out in uh, front of someone's braking zone like that, but I kind of stopped coming. And let him get away with it. <laughs> Yellow flag is out. Two. Line up, single file. Okay. Pit road is closed right now. Pace no, that actually went a little bit before we got that first caution. That's pretty fun. Pit road is open. Pretty fun. Full course yellow. Pits are open. We are in fifth. Holding that top five feels pretty good. That means we will be on the inside, which I am very welcome to. Like that idea. It's much more comfortable out there too. Our in in there, on the inside, <laughs> I guess would be the way to say it. We'll do a third gear start this time for sure. Hit the limiter so much faster than I expected. These things are so low powered. It's hard for me to judge like where the revs are and stuff. Night race means we got some good grip on the track. Cold temperatures. Especially when we're cooling down the tires on these uh, caution laps. Got a lot of caution laps. Still pacing. I'm two to go yet. I imagine we're coming to the two to go though. And uh, no green white checkers in the series. When it ends, it ends. So that's something to remember as well. Kind of like the uh, 87 Legends. The end of the race can sneak up on you if you start getting some cautions it's late. Open. Gotta be aware. This is fun now, but. You know, the desperation's only going to go at, uh, up with every lap that passes, so... Pit road is closed. Gotta expect... Gotta expect that. Hopefully I get a better start this time. Next time by, you'll be lining up on your inside. Okay. Pretty good fortune to be in uh, an odd number. See if we can do anything with it. Outside seems to be able to hold up pretty well. About to go green. Hold on. The pace car is in. Hey, good start. Sixth place. Outside. Still there. Go low. The car in front is Tate. 
Keep low. Oh. Keep low. B5. It's tight. Tight racing. Keep low. You almost get run over oh. from behind. Because that guy jumped in front of me. I was just trying not to run over Hubert. We all checked out. B6. That was yeah, a 21.8. I'm the one that lost big on that deal. Keep low. The yellow flag is out. They Been want to use single file. Pit road is closed right now. Alright. So we almost got taken out because that 10 closed the door on us again. That's going to get old quick, if he's going to keep doing that over and over. We're under caution. It's We're going to be the ones in danger Line up single file if we have to slam on the brakes zero. for them. Now open. Cutting off our braking zone, and then someone's going to hit us from behind. I'm not a huge fan of that. Fortunately, we lost a spot, and that means we'll be on the outside this time. But like I said, it seems like the outside hangs on relatively well. Still not preferred though, that's for sure. I think I'm glad I didn't start in the back. Seems like where all the wrecks are. Sure seems to me like we got maybe one too many caution laps. If, uh, you uh, calm down. Yep. Not more. You calm down back there. Yeah, I butchered that. Yeah, I feel like that should definitely at least be like two to green right here. Let's get this going. Hopefully the audio is sounding good. I've been trying new things with it. Past couple of test recordings, it's sound pretty good, I think. I think I uh, was able to eliminate a good bit of the background noise. Not all of it. It's going to be hard, hard to get rid of all of it, but a uh, good bit of it. Hopefully it's coming through clearly, and I've been messing with the balance, the audio, the uh, iRacing audio compared to my voice and all that. Pit road, it's sounding good. Right now. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Never been completely content with it, so just fiddling a little bit more. The thing I'm glad to see is that our internet's doing all right, especially in close, very close racing like this. You don't want uh, any hiccups there. And I'm ready to go. Let's get this thing going. Third gear was the way to go last time, it seemed. See how it works on the outside. See how that turns out. One left to green. We're going green up next on time the outside. Right. Hopefully get a good view of the leader. Just kind of getting lost behind uh, <laughs> behind the other guy, the third guy behind him, or whatever. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Getting hit. Green flag, green flag. No. Inside. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. Still Second inside. Train. Keep high. You're up top three wide. Why are you wide? Still I hear you still wide. Man, I don't know Three what he wants wide. me to do inside. there. Keep hitting. Keep high. 
Somehow we avoid getting hit by something there. We flew wide and clearly didn't work. We're back here with the squirrels that are all trying to wreck each other. I agree. Twelve. The lap time was at twenty-two point nine. Sorry, I really did not Don't be an idiot. Children, please calm down. Car outside. Keep low. Clear up. Yeah, how'd that work for you? You're in the top ten. You've just done a twenty-two. Here you go. See ya. Inside. Turn down. Still there, hold your line. Stay high if there's a car on the low side. <sighs> the guys back here are definitely less professional Be about this. Just diving it in on guys. Easy, break, please. Clear inside. Inside. Oop, sorry. Stay high if there's a car on the Be low good. side. Still inside. Clear. Inside. Too hard, trying not to get hit in the door. Still inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Inside. The yeah, yellow flag is out. Course. They want you in single file. Why would you overcrack like that? Number zero seven. Pit road's open. Pass up. Sixteen car. Turn the wheel hard Pits right. Pits are open. Like, what are you trying to accomplish Pits there? Pull your freaking brakes. All right. Next, we get spots back. Apparently. Hey Eddie, if there's a car on your inside and they're at your wheel, don't turn down. It's not gonna end well. Man, you got a lot of nerve opening your fucking mouth after telling that guy not to do it and do it. There was no car. You got to do that. Man. No, what he did was just flat out try to wreck you, and he fucked up, so it's not the same situation, but I Here comes okay, the that makes dive bombing, like it's friends. I mean, you could have just asked me, like, it was great, it would have been fine. Now the pins are like the dive bomb. I mean, you, you opened up the bottom, and I took it, and you literally were laying up both laps that I was trying to do it, so I don't know what you're expecting to happen there. It is the definition of a dive bomb. The quote unquote op lane open you leave below when you're not there. Putting yourself there is the definition of a dive bomb. That's what that is. More acceptable, typically, in road racing. Seems like a lot of guys employ it judiciously. And short track racing as well. I don't know. I'd just sooner right, beat them out of the corner. Less dangerous that way. But I am out of my element right now, so... Don't, don't listen to me. I don't know why you'd want to warm up your tires. I think colder is probably better right now. We're under caution. That, it's closed. Just me? Huh. Maybe I'm wrong. Pull the tires down, get more grip. So right now they're probably hot. I think we're right on the inside now. We'll get freight trained as well. I, I was not very good at keeping <laughs> keeping up on the outside. I don't pinch quite as hard as a lot of the guys do, which is probably what you need to do in order to hang in there as, as well. I'm not very aggressive when it comes to Putting myself One to go. in the next lane, line up on the inside. lane. That's why this kind of racing just isn't a very good fit for me a lot of the time. But that's part of why I'm here. Put myself in a, an uncomfortable situation. Four X after 32 green. laps. Not too bad. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. B12, 
12. Car outside. Keep low. Tate is now leading. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Okay. You're in the top 10. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Clear. Hear that. Where'd they go? It's three wide at one point, apparently. Seven's doing what he does and diving in. Trying to. Oh, God. What we got going on out there? Four doing something silly. Things are definitely picking up. Sure, I keep an eye up there. I'm ready. Spin, which we might be seeing right now. Guy gets wrecked. The yellow flag is out. They want you. Figured it was coming out. Oh, really oh, it's closed right now. Well, I got the shaft in that. We think that's BT. It's gone off. All right. Oh, I got the outside. I just got one restart on the bottom. So I can chip behind the car zero seven. Yeah, it's 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 now it's open. Closed. It's open. I just do that on top. Because if you ship somebody, if you ship somebody on the bottom, they'll take the guy on the top and get two for one. Yeah, fair enough. But I don't really like ten cars, so if you'll let me in, I'll ship the hell out of him and take up a nine. <sighs> yeah, go ahead. I won't talk to me. I was talking to my buddy Wally. Uh, I had someone talking in Discord over you. I didn't even hear you said. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I said if you'll let me in, I'll ship the ten and he'll pick out the nine. Honestly, Cody turned me one time, so like I might have to let that happen. <laughs> like it might have been a long time ago, and I've definitely got him back since then. But like, you know. What a different culture it is <laughs> in the street stocks. Yeah, that nine car, he's a weapon. He's like a dark in those other. It's like visiting a foreign country. <laughs> it's fascinating. I don't know why this 13 keeps passing. They want to make sure we all know they're impatient and they're going to be running into people, I guess. Yellow, pits are open. So many caution laps. Pit road is closed. We tend to go for too long. We're under caution, pits are closed. Seven carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. All right. Next carbide. Get line up on the outside. Too many restarts to go. There's not enough time for it. So, Let's see what we can do. I'll try to hang in there on the outside, but traditionally hasn't been working too well. Green, stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. Out of here. All there. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. P8. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. 
Still there, spot him. Still there, spot him. I'm trying, hang on, man. Still there. Still inside. He gets our left rear. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Oh, course, caution. caution, yellow flag. Yeah. They want you to file. Closed, pit road is closed. That's gonna be large! Still gonna be on the outside. I, I held my spot, but. Oh, I thought to get good. Didn't gain anything. This car sure. is out. Line up single file behind car number zero seven. Who's wrecking? I need to see wrecking. It's closed. Pete Rose is now open. Somewhere. Pits are open. Catch up, seven car. Great job, 10 to go. 10 to go. It's going to be a bit of a shootout to the finish, I think. This is probably the last restart we'll get. I really don't have any expectations for this race, so... If I finish here, that's fine. If I get wrecked out, that'll be exactly... Uh, I mean, that won't be surprising. <laughs> I should run the inside. No, that's for sure. Not even two to go yet? Come on. It's been pretty uh, rough, but not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I think we'd be able to make it, you know, a single lap most of the time. Full course yellow, pits are open. Half lap 13, car. Pit road is closed. The pace car is out, pits are closed. Left up, seven, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. All right, so it's going to be, what, six laps to go when we get hit green? Something like that. So uh, I'm pretty sure caution seven, ends carbide. it. If we get another one. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside of the wall for some reason, I guess. Like you did anyway. Try to get a better start. I wasn't quite as close up to the guy in front as I needed to be. Get ready, going green. Hide the car is off. Still ended up earlier than I expected. I was ready for it, but I just I couldn't see the leader, so I had to react to the other guys instead of uh, the leader himself. Still there. Erickson is leading the race. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Inside. Loose on exit. That's not good. Keep high. Five. Five to go. Pushed into the corner. Keep high. Still there, inside. Still 
still there inside. Come on, Colton. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Still there. P9. That last light was a clear inside. Nine. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Go low. Caution. Push, push. Yellow watch flag. <laughs> they want you in single file. Pit road well, that's closed. it. Half about 12. Car. That Dodge. Got us. We think that's some spots, I think. Stacked it. So that'll be the that'll be the finish. Pace car wow, line up single that's file. crazy. Car number Eighth, zero. I guess. That's where Rush we are. Caution. Pits are that's fine with me, like Pit I said. Now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. If I muted them or not, I'll do it. Unless they added green white checkers to the series, I don't know about. Survived, uh, getting pushed around a little Ooh, bit, getting stuck on the outside. I was able to hang in there better than I was able to the first time we got stuck on the outside. So uh, it feels like progress. It feels like I learned something. Being able to hang in there a little bit better. It was good to be able to identify something you might have improved on through a race. And uh, it allowed us to get uh, eighth, I think, instead of getting freight trained like we did. Before. So, well, that was interesting. Got the white flag. That Four X, not too bad. To go. For uh, one of these races. Can we go, please? I guess we have to survive pacing first. I mean, I get ahead of myself. Strangely quiet. Sounded like a lot of guys were like in Discord chats with their buddies and stuff anyway, so that's probably where a lot of the conversation's happening for them. It's I'll right. take it. Has the number five finishing eighth. Something different. You'll be lining up on the inside. It's a race. P8, there's the checkered flag. Half back, 11, car, checkered flag, checkered flag. Nice Find a nice place to park. Work. Letter, 9, carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Letter, 4, carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Half back, 8, car, half back, People breaking 14, each other car, afterward car, because six, it's a street car, stock race. Car, 14, Martinsville. Car. And if that didn't happen, I would assume the world was coming to an end. That's a, uh, yeah, that was average. Average performance, I guess. Just got uh, unlucky the past couple of restarts, got stuck on the outside. And so all I could do is just do my best to hold on. Thankfully I did. But, Damn, uh, it's like y'all have never raced a street or race. It's uh, did not have the opportunity to move forward, unfortunately. Let's uh, take a look. Probably have to go through this pretty quickly. There's a guy pushing me at the start because I was a dumbo and didn't know how to accelerate. Seven forcing his way through. He kind of had the nose on that one, on him that time. Though. In the wall. Thirteen taking out the fourteen. I gave you room. You hit the curb. You still pinched me down to the curb, but alright. Pretend wall hits during caution. 13's too high up the track and running into the 6, and then he just blatantly turns into him, even though it was his fault that he ran into the 6. You can see the wheel turn. These are the kind of people that just run these more often than not, unfortunately. Like, he drives in too hard. He's not on the bottom, he's too far up. He hits the six, and then he gets mad about the fact that he hit the six and turns into him and pushes him into the wall. Like, really? <laughs> I don't get it. Seven. Diving at three wide, that's what we heard. And they start running into each other. And that scared me, because I'm thinking three wide, I'm about to die. I hear the contact, and so I'm like, alright. Go up the track. 
So that didn't help my matters either. So thank you, seven, for diving it in. And then six is just taking out the seven. Probably all of 11 years old. Mentally, at least. That benefits us, I guess. Eight in the wall pretty hard on exit, but two has nowhere to go. The two will use as an excuse to move them out of the way. Seven hits the curb and takes out the 14. And then takes no responsibility for it whatsoever. I heard him talking about it, like, oh, you pinched me, like... Yeah, that's definitely what happened. That's why you end up... Crossing your lane. Like, you, if you get pinched, you still have to slow down and not run into people. Like, so you can just tell, there, like, there's a nice handful of people. Actually, probably the majority of this service. Oh, and that's... Thank you. That's the guy that we ran into. So, seven caused us to get the 4x. Majority of people in this service never take responsibility for anything and therefore never learn anything. Really wish the 14 would have just held the brakes instead of trying to save it or whatever and then overcorrecting into my path, but I mean, I'm hard on the brakes too. Like, I thought I was clear, first of all, because he was down there. I'm like, okay, fine, he's going to hold the brakes and be fine. Nope, he's just gonna overcorrect it right in front of me, but... Whatever. Some contact. Happening restarts. 12 just self-spins. Interesting. Let's see, what happened here with the 3 and the 8? I think three was moving him. Yeah, the eight was getting used up pretty bad. And then three just forces it, like... Still 20 laps to go, I mean, that's... And it's for third, that just does not seem necessary to me. But... What do I know? But it forces him out of the way, and... Well, no consequences for him. So why wouldn't he do that? He just turns the 16 then. No reason for that at all. And uh, this is what ended the race. Two forcing his way too wide and then bad net code. Two's just forcing his way through. Appreciation to the one for keeping it up there. He holds his brakes and keeps it against the wall, so prevents that from being worse. Let's watch our dodge. Woo! Thank Thankfully the 12 gave me some room. Could have given me more. Like, he's got to know that someone on the outside is probably trying to dodge the guy, but... It's just enough. <laughs> Alright. And that's that other than guys just running into each other after uh, the race is over. How fun. I'm still doing stuff. <laughs> what is going on? Maybe they're friends. Maybe some are mad. Maybe some are friends. Maybe it's a mix. Maybe both. I don't know. Going on. But that's uh, that's it for that one. So eighth place, uh, sure. I didn't expect to be too good at this. Not my type of racing. I'm not really much of a uh, <laughs> fists out type of racer. So I'll take it. And uh, made a nice dodge, I guess, to help maintain. I uh, hope you enjoyed something a little different this time. And I uh, hope you have a good one. See you next time.